Happy Smash Tober to all of you viewers. Happy Smash Tober. It's time. Time to do meteorology and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Here are the jet streams of the eastern world. And we've got some meridional jet stream flow in the western Pacific here. Some cold air being sent down toward the equator. Heading from Japan toward Papua New Guinea. Let's look at the surface winds of this portion of the planet. Shout out, leave us a comment if you're from this portion of the planet. By the way, this system about to strike Vietnam is putting out some red alerts in our GDEX disaster alert system. If you want to get our disaster alerts, become a silver or gold member at smashamash.com slash smash team. More on that later in the video. Let's check out the surface winds of the western world. Here's the western portion of planet Earth. There are the surface winds, some onshore winds around the east coast of the U.S., and a strong counterclockwise rotating system there south of Greenland, off the coast of Newfoundland, one of the least hospitable places in North America. Here are the jet streams of the Western world, and you can see this extreme cold air being sent all the way down to Cuba and Florida and North Carolina and so on. A 180-degree bend in the jet stream here occurring over the Caribbean, just off the coast of Florida there. And you can see this north to south jet stream flow here, known as meridional jet stream flow, the opposite of zonal jet stream flow, where the jet stream acts normal and it blows west to east. By the way, the western portion of the U.S. is about to be so hot that it's cold, as we've got Winter weather watches. Those are winter storm watches, by the way, folks, over most of the state of Wyoming. These here in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico are hard freeze warnings. <coughs> Check out our meteorology segments. Those are hard freeze warnings. And these are freeze warnings. So apparently October is so hot that it's cold, folks. Oh, my God. It must be because of carbon dioxide. If you know nothing about atmospheric physics or geology, maybe that's what you think. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Here is our NASA GOES lightning mapper. And we see quite a bit of lightning here over the Caribbean the past uh, 10 hours, approximately. Also some strong lightning over Minnesota. Let's take a look at the real-time lightning map and see what's going on currently. It's... LightningMaps.org. Did you even know about LightningMaps.org? It's so good. When you hear thunder, check it out. You may be able to convince your friends and foes that you're Thor or perhaps Odin by forecasting thunder. Lac La Croix, First Nation. There's thunder rolling in. Little isolated thunder shower happening up there, northern Minnesota, around the Canadian border. Most of the lightning on Earth right now <clears throat> occurring around the Caribbean and over the central Mediterranean. Let's take a look at snow depth. Wow, we've got a bunch of snow in the Rockies already. And we're going to show the forecast here for snow depth. So this is the G this is the Euro forecast for snow depth. And I think you're going to see most of Wyoming and Colorado blanketed here. We'll just let this slowly play through. We're going to stop this on Wednesday. So snow starts in Montana and Idaho, spreads to Nevada and Utah, and then starts to slowly blanket Wyoming. Spreading across most of the south of, Wyo of uh, Montana there, and now into Colorado. Euro forecast for midday on Wednesday is that almost all of Wyoming and about half of Colorado to be blanketed. Also half of Montana, portions of South Dakota, most of Utah, about half of Nevada, and a bunch of snow showing up in Oregon and Washington as well. Heaviest totals currently forecasted by the Euro forecast are around this band right here. About a foot of snow expected to fall, up to as much as about 15 inches here. 17.8 inches showing up there in northern Wyoming on the Euro forecast through Wednesday. So there's the GFS forecast. 
since we showed you the Euro one, here's the GFS one. Event expected to be done by about 8 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. That's Eastern Daylight Time. Massive snowstorm. Apparently it's so hot that it's cold out there in the Northwest. This video was originally streamed live to Twitch. Go follow us over there at Twitch. We'll be doing more and more live streams as time goes on. We've entered the gig economy, and we ain't going no ways. We ain't going no ways. We're also on BitChute. Thanks to our BitChute subscribers, if you are only subscribed on BitChute, go subscribe on YouTube and Twitch because you're missing like 90% of our content. Look at the massive views we get on BitChute compared to YouTube. Why are we getting over 10 times as many views on a small platform like BitChute when YouTube has over a billion daily users. If you're viewing on YouTube, don't forget to press like and subscribe. Don't forget to press share. Share on Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook page. Tell your friends and foes about the content. Tell your science noobs and science pros about the content. Let me just check the life of the stream here real quick since we are streaming live. And everything looks kosher. Hopefully that wasn't too offensive and you won't call me a Zionist. Not that I mind. I don't know what the, why the term's so derogatory anyway, but let's just continue on. Are you familiar with smashamash.com slash smash team? Well, I'm not giving you any more than that little tiny tidbit, as that is for paid members. Speaking of paid members, thanks to our patrons. Patrons, become smash team members, would you please? Smashamash.com slash smash team. Just cancel your Patreon. It's... There are two tiers at Smash Team, so go check it out. There's also a bronze tier. There, I should say there are two paid tiers. There's a free tier, that's bronze. There's a $2.99 a month tier, that's silver. And there's a $9.99 a month tier, that's gold. And there's a paid up option for that, that's $109.89. You get complimentary merch and a paid up annual subscription. All right, I've got a, I've got a refresh. It's refreshing sometimes to press refresh as I want to know what's going on over the, over the Pacific Ocean. Let's take a look at the U.S. Doppler radar while that loads. And it looks like most of the precipitation has subsided except for north of Denali there in central Alaska. As far as the lower 48, we've got this strong low here over, uh, it looks like, around the South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota tri-border is about where that low pressure is located. You can see that counterclockwise rotation. Anyway, here's what's going on with water vapor over the Pacific Ocean. Looks like we've got some slop in the water vapor feed there, perhaps some cosmic ray flux showing up. It's not from electron flux, most likely, folks. Anyway... That's what's going on as far as water vapor over the Pacific Ocean. The Earth's largest body of water. So once again, there's the U.S. Doppler radar. Here's what's going on in the cloud layer. It's the shortwave radiation map, part of the NASA GOES Interactive Weather Satellite Suite. Here's the water vapor map for the U.S. And there's a powerful anticyclone here centered over Louisiana. You can see this clockwise rotation here. And that dry mass of air will be largely in control. This moisture coming down from Canada is going to run into this dry mass of air, and that's going to cause it to stagnate. Hopefully that helped. And if you've got questions, concerns, comments, hate mail, let's just leave us a comment. Let us know all about it. Anyway, once again, thanks for tuning in. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. smash mash signing off from the Smash News Network, least busted. Name it news.